Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron Mackenzie Lafergi. I'm back with the second part to our Sonic cameos list. Lucky for me, Sonic is everywhere, so there are plenty of things to choose from. I tried to pick a few that would be a bit more surprising too. If you enjoy this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below. And if you want more, check out part one of this list. But before you do that, get ready, it's time for the Top 10 Sonic cameos, part two. Number 10, Sega Game Pack. The Sega Game Pack was released in 1992 for the Sega Game Gear. It includes four mini games, soccer, tennis, racing, and a match three game based on the game columns. And if you play the tennis game, it will be refereed by the blue blur himself. Guess he's low on rings and looking to pick up some spending money. That's what got me into soccer refing. Number nine, Breaking Bad. That's right, Sonic was in Breaking Bad. Kinda. Brock and Jesse can be seen playing Sonic 06 in one scene, with the scene even starting with a close-up shot of the game. And they do seem to be having fun, although it is a kid and a drug dealer, so take that with a grain of salt. Sonic 06 was still not good. This is definitely different from other cameos on this list since it's just showing his game, but he was there and Breaking Bad rocks. I will give no other reason. Number 8. Archie Comics No, I'm not talking about the Sonic comics published by Archie, I mean Sonic actually showing up in Riverdale in the mainstream Archie comics. In one Halloween mini-comic, Sabrina the Teenage Witch accidentally enters the Sonic comics, then accidentally brings Sonic and Knuckles back with her. They go to a costume party, and when Jughead arrives wearing an Eggman costume, things start to go awry. And as I'm sure you suspect, hilarity ensues. Well, maybe not hilarity, but it definitely made me exhale through my nose a few times. Number 7. The Scott Pilgrim Comics. This one, like other members of the list, might be stretching the definition of cameo, but there are just so many Sonic references in Scott Pilgrim that it would be a travesty not to include it. Just to name a few, Scott has a Sonic and Knuckles shirt. He's seen playing Sonic and Knuckles. His high school band was called Sonic and Knuckles. Volume 4 has Scott and Ramona in the place of Sonic and Tails from Sonic 2, and most of all, when Roxy's defeated, she explodes into a bunch of woodland creatures. So much Sonic. Number 6. Mad. Again. Yep, we showed one of Sonic's cameos in the Mad Show in part 1, but that wasn't his only appearance. In one episode, here comes the Doom slash Brain Purge, we saw a show called Koopa Troopa Gutsman and Krako, a takeoff on Koopa, Mega Man, and Kirby. Their firm helps villains to make levels that heroes can't win. They show this by making a pit of spikes that is too long for Sonic to jump over, and a purple Sonic is seen dying at the hands of Eggman. It's pretty dark, but they definitely have a point. <laughs> point. Spikes. Mm. Number five. Whose line is it anyway? <laughs> yeah, this one's definitely stretching the list, but I love whose line so much, and this is a pretty funny video. In one party quirks, Wayne was pretending to be a series of video game characters, and guess who one of them was? Rings, 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 rings. That's right, Sonic. Yes, I know Sonic technically isn't in this, but it's not often you get to see Wayne Brady pretending to run around collecting Sonic's rings. Number four. Jingle all the way. Oh man, I freaking love this movie. It makes it's so much easier to remember the names of the reindeer. You know, Dasha Dansa Panzer Vix and Comet Cupidona Blitzen. Awesome. What was I talking about? Right, Sonic. As you may recall, the movie hits its peak during a parade in which Turbo Man would be performing, and there are a bunch of mascots walking through the parade, and Sonic's one of them. Score. Number 3. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. In Yoshi's Island, one of the enemies is called Harry Hedgehog, so it starts kind of fishy. But then when you learn that it's blue and moves really quickly, it's pretty clear that this is Nintendo's way of referencing Sonic within their game. Yeah, I know this technically isn't Sonic, it's Harry, but it's Sonic. Shut up. Shh. Sonic. Number 2. Jazz Jackrabbit Jazz Jackrabbit was a platformer for PC that had clearly been inspired by Sonic, and they called attention to this in the instruction manual where Jazz says, I wish life was like those video games where all you had to do to defeat the bad guy was jump on him, and suddenly Sonic appears saying, somebody get my lawyers on the phone. Yeah, those voices sound a little similar, well, that's okay. Uh, thankfully, nobody did because Jazz Jackrabbit was actually pretty good. Number 1. Ready Player One I hinted in part 1 that we might see Sonic in Ready Player One, and now we know that he does appear in the movie, which surprised roughly zero people. He didn't have a particularly large part, you can miss it if you blink, but he was definitely seen and that's good enough for me. That said, I haven't had a chance to see the movie yet, so no spoilers please. That's it for today, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Hit me up in the comments with suggestions for other videos, or tell me a joke, or a riddle, I, I love riddles. Also check out our Top 10 Sonic playlist for more videos like this one. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.